Hey, welcome back again to a very cold and windy Peak District. Uh, today we're in Matlock on a bit of a family camp over just for the weekend. Uh, we're not far from Birchover. So give you a little bit of a, a pan round. Yeah, some lovely scenery. Uh, my friend who came with us uh, on the camp last time, Kev, is going to be uh, meeting us at the pub down the road called the Druids. So we're going to go for a few cheeky slurps. So we're in just the, the family tent today, we're, we're glamping it up. Uh, so we're going to meet up Kev and the Druids for a few slurps and then we're back to his caravan site. We're going to have a few beers, a barbecue and then tomorrow we're going to have a, a ramble, maybe up to... Uh, I think it's called the Nine Ladies or the Nine Circles. So we'll take you with us. We'll see you in a bit. Well, a few slopes later, as a recommended pub that is, really nice. We had some decent food in there, met up with me and make Cav, and now I'm going to go to the campsite and uh, we're going to sink a few more brooms. So we'll see you in a bit. Welcome to the Magic Barbecue. Quick shout out to Ian Lawrence. Yes. Here we have Chef Raymond Van Blanc. Cooking away some uh, sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna groove on with the barbecue. We've got some sausages and some uh, satay sticks and some wings going on on the case. So here we are. We're down. We've come from the Druids. Uh, had a couple of pints from there, and we've moved on to uh, Kev's place. Uh, he's camping out for this weekend. It's uh, Barn Farm. Barn Farm, Birchover. Yeah, really lovely site. Um, so we came here for uh, what was it last last bank holiday for yeah. for summer, and it was uh, absolutely rammed in here. But, uh, it's not the case this weekend, is it? No, very quiet. So mulling over a few pints, we're just thinking about where we're going to go for a walk tomorrow. So we're uh, looking over a few treks, but uh, where where we decided on? On to the Stanton Moors, I think. Not far from here. And that's the and Nine the Ladies. Nine Ladies. Yeah, so it's, uh, I suppose it's like a, a mini Stonehenge, if you like. Uh, last time we went up there, it's got to be what, just about 18 months ago, something like that. Yeah. And uh, there were some people camping up there. Not proper campers, they're just leaving crap everywhere. Um, but uh, yes, it's nice up there. You've got a, a mixture of, uh, of moorland. You've got some nice drop-off from the, from the rocks down there. And uh, it's uh, a few little nice jaunts around there. Um, what we do? We're gonna have a few more slurps. A couple of slurps. And what we got on uh, on this afternoon? Let's have a look. We have Brooklyn brand East IPA, weighing in at 6.9 percent. Should be a nice brew. Well, well, Gav. Uh, badges, golden champion. Oh, you can't beat your badger. <laughs> Everyone loves a bit of badger, <laughs> don't they? That's Peter. just a standard uh, five percent volume. Uh. Nice one, but it's a nice fruity one. It's lovely. Session ale for the barbecue. Ah, session on. Enjoy. Right, chin chin. Say, I said to Kev every time I seem to get this camera out, and it uh, seems to go a bit black and, and start to rain again. Uh, tomorrow's forecast, I think it's uh, a little bit grim, 
Well, we'll see, we'll see how we go. It seems to change every two minutes. Uh, we're back and uh, we'll have a wander. So we'll see you in a bit. Good morning. And uh, been a bit of a, a strange old night, isn't it? A bit grim. A bit grim. <laughs> I think it went down to about <laughs> three degrees last night. Uh, family, so my missus woke up, feet like a block of ice, so we've been up most of the night. My little one's been uh, poorly with the, with the cold, with the earache, I'll tell you. So it's been a rough old night, but uh, I'm going to blow the cobwebs off. I'm going to go for a walk this morning at uh, nine ladies. Yeah, nine yeah. Ladies, so you can see in the background, it's a really lovely scenery as we pan round. And we're off up that way, and then we'll take you along with us. Just view in between the rain showers. So over there we have Warren Car and Birchover. I believe over the other side is Darley Dale. And as we pan across, you've got Stanton Lees that's down there. And that's a quarry. And across there again, I, think, I believe that's Stanton Lees. It's a gorgeous mixture. Heathland across here. And some stunning views. So approaching up here, we've got Earl Grey Tower. It was built by William Paul Thornhill and dedicated to the Reform Act 1832. Bit of knowledge for you there. Well, we'll uh, 
go a bit further down onto the nine ladies in a bit. But, uh, it's just started to rain, so we've just hunkered down for a bit. Found a nice patch of trees. Kev's got his DD super light. He's got his brew on there. And I've chucked up the Rab uh, Sill Tarp too. So we're a couple of poles just lashed it. So the ground sheet down, brew kit, and we'll get some snap on. So here we have Nine Ladies Stone Circle. And legend has it that nine ladies were turned to stone for dancing on the Sabbath and that the king's stone was the fiddler. In fact the stones are apart, are embanked in a stone circle with at least ten stones which were built around 4,000 years ago. Now it's meant to have some strange effects when you enter this area and uh, to put it to a test last night me and Kev we had a, a couple of slurps we was on the snake dog and before you knew it we were dancing naked in a shamanic trance. We're not having that again. As again, it's bloody raining. It's a gorgeous area around here. That's where we pitch just through the trees. Through there. You can make out this in the trees. Little offerings and effigies or whatever you want to call them with crystals in and uh, dream catchers and all sorts of oddities. I'm sure it means something to somebody. I don't know whether it's in, in reference to druids or what it is. But there you have it. See where we are. The intrepid explorers returning after their adventure. Everybody's absolutely wet through. It's been lashing it down for a good hour or so now while I've been walking back. Even though we've all got decent waterproof between us. But, uh, none of it's gone through, luckily, but yeah, we're absolutely wet through and lathered. But uh, spirits are high. Because we're just about to go to the boozer. Yeah. Bon so to the bone. And, uh, been a good walk though, hasn't it? It has been a good walk. Yeah, so it's lovely around this area. It's yeah. so, a cracking campsite as well. Would recommend it if you are in the area uh, of Matlock. Uh, head over to Birchover for Barn Farm. And then you can see here we are. So it's a, a lovely place. But we'll see you in a bit. Birch over blue cheese. Wow. Get some of that in your mouth. 
Morning all. It's been another cold night. We uh, had a good day yesterday. A uh, good walk with the family and with Kev and his family. And uh, we come back to the, the site last night and it's been hoofing it down with rain all night. So uh, we've just broken camp. Just trying to get everything ready just to get back home now. Uh, thanks for joining us for another quick ramble. Sorry it's only been a quick one. I think the next one will be a, a woodland walk and uh, maybe an overnighter. Well, thanks again for joining us. So if you've, if you've liked the content, then um, please give it a, a like, a share or a subscribe. And thanks again. Cheers.